Cluster 3 covers standards NC1, NBT1, NBT2, NBT3, NBT7, MD4, and OA1. It covers understanding equality and place value to compare numbers. This is a four to six week cluster. The big idea in this cluster is comparing. There's a lot of comparing using two digit numbers, and this is where we introduce OA1 uh, compare difference unknown story problems. The, what is the mathematics behind this cluster? The, we group Students group objects leading to grouping tens and some more. We can use cups with groups of 10, beans or counters, 10 frames to show 10, towers of cubes to show 10, or bundles of sticks or straws to show 10. Students need lots of exploring with making groups of 10 and talking about groups of 10. They also need to be able to make connections between the symbolic number the number word and the number of tens and ones. For example, 47 is the same thing as four tens and seven ones. This carries over into using the language of equality in comparison. The students should be using the words greater than, less than, same value as, equal to, but are not using the symbols for greater than, less than, or equal at this point in the year. They will carry this over into the collecting data standard, MD4. Students will collect data, group their information into tens and some more, and then compare using the same language of equality and comparison mentioned in the previous line. The comparing should be done in real life contexts using towers of cubes, 10 frames, hundreds charts, using the number line and number balances to show how numbers are greater than, less than, or equal to each other. We also ask the students to compare different unknown word problems. They should be using models to directly compare, building two towers side by side to see how many more, or laying objects out in two rows, pairing them up to see how many is less or how many more, noticing the difference between the two numbers. Some important considerations in this cluster. Students need lots and lots of practice grouping tens and ones and talking about connections between the two digit numbers and the number of tens and ones. Some students may need more support making connections to base 10 structure. For example, making sure they understand how many cups of tens would be needed for a number such as 36 beans. Students also need to understand that the equal means the same value as, but not the answer comes next.